Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well today. So in this video, basically I'm going to be going through my planner setup for 2023 and it's going to be like a two to three, maybe four part video. Um, but yeah, so in this video, I'm just going to be discussing the basics and if you're a newbie planner or you're just starting out with like your first planner, I'm going to be talking you through some tips and essential items that you might want to grab as well so let's get right into it hi everyone my name is juaria you might know me from instagram as the cosmic planner and i just want to say i'm sorry about my voice i've been sick for like the past week and my kids have been sick for the past two weeks so, you know, it's been a ride. And I was supposed to get this video the first week of November, but um, since everybody was sick, I really couldn't film. I really couldn't do anything. So, if it's hard to hear me, um, I'm sorry, but um, I'll try my best. So, anyways, I just wanted to get right into it and show you guys what is what. I know I have, like, a whole bunch of stuff over here, but I have a plan and I will show that in a second. Okay. So, let me just move all these planners out of the way. I have a bunch of planners. And, yeah. I've already been working on, like, modifying some of them to the way I wanted them. But, um, yeah. I'm still going to be going through the process of explaining to you how I did right. So, the first thing is... I'm going to be opening up my little cheat sheet here. So, this is what I plan to do to discuss with you guys um in the next couple of videos i know i haven't been posting videos but um that's because i really haven't been feeling plan with me videos like i just don't want to film while i'm doing you know plan plan with me if that makes any sense anyway so this is like an overview over here about what um i need to discuss with you guys and what my process is going to be and everything and just tips and tricks if you are a new planner and this is video one over here, this is video two, video three, and I just plan out for four videos. So in this video, um, we're going to be talking about intro to planning. So basically what planning is and what it means to me as a planner. And like essential supplies, and I'm going to show you my lineup. And yeah, basically why planning is important to me. So let's get into it. And yeah. So um, if you, I haven't really posted anything about my um current franken planner so i'm going to be using a franken planner okay let me just start off at the beginning probably getting ahead of myself so planning there are many i guess different types of planners and I okay so i was talking about what planning is before my camera literally just so my phone is stopped okay so planning is basically it doesn't i, I want to say it has like um a defined meaning like a dictionary meaning to it because it's based on what your needs are like for me i i don't have a job i have kids i go to college so with all that being said i plan that specifically in my catch-all planner and then i have social media accounts so you might not have social media accounts you might not need to um plan for that but social media for me i have a specific planner just dedicated to social media and i map out my instagram posts i map out my youtube videos and everything like that it just helps me stay on um point and then i have my business planner which i've been using and it's actually been really helping me um just to stay with like a timeline of what week i need to do what and yeah you might not need a business planner so it's like basically for your needs planning is something you need to do for yourself so what i would do is i'll get a piece of pencil um not a piece of pencil i'll get a pencil and a piece of paper and i'll write out like stuff what i could um plan for like if you want to plan faith for your faith um faith planning lettering if you want to do that lettering planning um i have this new idea for um, my art that i do so i'm going to be planning my art um you could do social media you can you can yeah see that's my kid coughing I'm probably not going to edit a lot of stuff out of this video, but you know, yeah, so just bear with me. Um, you could plan for basically anything. You could do a fitness journal, you could do a wellness journal, 
I'm just journal, like creative journaling. I do that sometimes and it's really helping. Uh, it helps me out. Memory planning is one thing I love to do. Um, another thing you could do is probably like um, a recipe planner. If you're like somebody who goes to work a lot and is out of the house a lot, you can have like a recipe planner or meal plan planner that you just have your meals down for the whole week. Um, you can do that. You can do a diet planner if you're like on a diet specific diet and you need to do that. You can do that as well. And basically it's just trial and error. So for me, I had bought some classic planners, which I totally did not like, even though everybody had the classic size and everybody prefers that size. It wasn't for me. So I did end up switching to like the big planner, which was my original planner and I love it. So there's that. So the things I plan for and I plan on planning for in the upcoming year, if that makes sense, is of course my catch-all. So I have these little tabs here. Let's show you. Because I haven't done like a full flip through. So I have my catch-all here. This is my catch-all. Oh, it's like coming apart. No, don't do that. Okay, so this is my catch-all for November. And... And then we have social media here. So we have that tab. And I did create these tabs with, um, I'm not sure what this paper this is called. It's like stenciling something. And I bought that and I just cut it out. Yeah, so I bought that and I just cut it to the size of a paper with it being half by 11. And I used the planner punch to punch out some punches. And it just worked. These are some adhesive tabs that I just bought off of Amazon. And I will link everything down below. So, there's that. So, social media. And then we have business here. And then I have recently just gotten into face planning. And I'm just not, I'm not really using a planner. I'm just using note pages just to map out um, something that's like beginner stuff, you know. And I am setting up my face planner in a way where... My kids, my daughter, my son, he can go back and look at it and be like, oh, this is what it is. And like color coordinating everything and having a time, like um, a table of contents of where everything is. So stuff like that. And then I have my lettering here. And then I'm going to have an art planner. So I'm going to have, this is my memory planner. Okay. And then I have a tab for art, but I haven't really been planning out art right now so there's that and then I just have a tab for simple notes so there's some note paper so basically that is going to be my lineup and then I'm going to have these covers and I can just you know switch out the inside covers and whatnot so let me just run down what planners I have and what they are specifically for so my catch-all you guys have known I've been using the Disney villains and that is not going to change I mean it does end in July for next year. So it's like, it ends July 2023. But what I'm thinking about doing is adding some extension packs just to like have it more extended out for the rest of the year because I don't want to invest in another planner, if that makes sense. So, yeah, this is going to be my catch all. We'll see what's Excuse me. So the next we have is social media and social media is this Disney Pixar one. It did come with gold discs. I wasn't a huge fan. I switched them out to um, these rainbow discs, which are the, this comes in a pack um, of like, I think six, six different colors. And these two discs I took from the Nightmare Before Christmas um, guided journal. So yeah, that was that. Okay, so I've written myself little notes. So this is going to basically be the same, stay the same. I'm not changing any part of it. I really love the fact that it has a long checklist here, as you can see. And basically what I do is I plan out the week. Like for Monday, I need to do blah, blah, blah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and everything like that. And then here, I, I'm not sure how to use these. Yeah. I use these for like um, YouTube video planning and stuff like that, like planning to discuss and everything. This here is for mapping out um, new ideas, new video ideas. So like if I don't have an idea for that week, for a specific week, I can just flip through on here. 
and here I write it down my, like I cover I don't need all these so I just put down the specific YouTube video here and here I plan out my Instagram post so I do make it really decorative which I love doing because um you know it makes me want to come back to it and look at it so yeah so starting January this will be my social media planner okay after that I had a business planner which is hold on let me see let me look at this for a second is it this one no it's not this one it's this one so I've been you know kind of like prepping and everything just to figure out if I'm doing stuff right or not but um I was gonna write something in but I didn't okay so My business planner? I'm not sure how I'm using my business planner yet. So these are the extension packs. Um, they have them on the Happy Planner website. And basically I bought a bunch of those. What am I doing here? Okay, so... Oh, I, I know. So, for my business planner, what I'm going to do now. This is going to be like itself. It's going to be a video on its own. So, I'm going to use the monthly. The monthly pages. And then I'm going to add some note paper after that. Um, and I did buy a Happy Planet of Notes, which is perfect for that because it has note paper. But, yeah. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm, this is, this is going to be a whole video on its own, so don't want to take this back. But this planner, the future begins now. It is going to be my um, business planner. And basically, it looks kind of, it looks like, you know, businessy. That makes sense. We trust the journey. And then this one, stay humble, work hard. So these kind of quotes were like, I need that there. This was originally um, a horizontal planner, which obviously I was going to use for my lettering planner, but, you know. That's a whole different story. Okay. And then business and faith. Faith is this one. So this is the creative and good faith planner. And basically I am going to add. So it says here. Um, yeah. So how I'm going to use this planner is it's going to be a whole video on its own as well. But basically, I really loved it because it's colorful, it's pretty, it's thoroughly, and, you know, I liked her style. I just love watercolor anything, so I was really intrigued by this. And, yeah, and I was looking for something that didn't have pictures, anything that didn't have characters, so this is perfect. So this is going to be my face planner. Oh, there's something about that book. So this is going to be my face planner for the next year. Okay, and then we get into lettering. So I bought, I know I should have, but I wanted this this year. I wanted this planner so bad this year. So I did buy, um, this is the Cosmic Watercolor Collection. I love this collection dearly. So I bought this collection, um, just because. <laughs> and this is going to be my lighting planner. It was an 18 month planner, so it's going to go all the way to December, which is perfect. And so, yeah. I start off with January and just, you know, work my way through. And this is a horizontal layout. So, lettering. And I don't have to decorate it too much because I don't want to do that anyways. And it was just perfect with these little strips going on. And yeah. So, this is my lettering planner. Okay, we're almost done. So, I believe my art planner is next. So, this is my art planner. This was a so, um, so much happy. Something like that, I think collection that came out that was exclusive to Joanne's and I kind of regretted buying this um planner I, I was going to use this as my social media but you know I wasn't prepared for the fall release or anything so this is going to be like an art planner it's a dashboard style and basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to like sketch not yeah maybe sketch and um just kind of like write down what I need to do regarding paintings and collections and stuff like that 
And if I get like ideas to paint, I can sketch that and just glue it in here. It's gonna be that kind of thing. I don't like sketchbooks to plan stuff, so yeah. So I don't like sketchbooks to like plan out um my drawings. I don't know, I'm just kind of a weird person that way. But I thought this would be perfect. Like if I wanna like say for this week I'm painting something, right? So I can have like a sketch of, of it over here. I can have some, you know, kind of techniques or whatever I want to use, color swatches here and stuff like that throughout, you know, the planner. So the thing with this is I don't have to use every single week if I'm not painting that week, but um, yeah, it's something, it's there. And also, it can be there for like fake planning in a way. Like if I just wanted to decorate a spread, I can do that and just, you know, live on with my life. <laughs> and that's sort of way. So this is going to be my art planner. And you will see more of that in my upcoming videos. And basically, yeah, I really, I'm, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this planner. Okay, and then this is my last planner, is my memory planner. And this is something I created. So, I was obsessed with the Mickey Mouse collection. Um, the seasonal collection and I just fell in love with it so much but the thing is the big planner is sold out or else I was gonna buy the big planner and switch it to a vertical layout but you know it was sold out so what I did is I had these covers custom made which I think look gorgeous by the way so instead of like the happy planner it has mine the cosmic planner on the back and then it has this and then it has these cute dividers so I basically just bought a bunch of scrapbook paper and I will see if I can find the specific scrapbook paper and just try to list them out or if not I'm, I'm probably going to have like um, a how-to video for this planner so I'll just link all the scrapbook paper in that video because if I start linking down everything in this one specific video it'll just be too much so let me just show you like a flip through so this is January I'm not finished all the way with it. And these stickers are from the Large Value Pack um, sticker book of my planner. This is February, March. I try to color coordinate the scrapbook paper with the um, sticker or the month. April, May. And this quote is from like the mom sticker book that the happy planner had this is june and i believe yeah so this is like these um dividers are the dashboard extension pack dividers so yeah i did a lot of frank and fun like i did a lot of just mixing things together just to get like everything in order and yeah it did work out so this is going to be a vertical layout and I believe I pulled these pages out from the LaFleur collection. So there's that. And it, yeah. This is going to be my memory planner. And basically that is it. I do have an extra planner. Which I probably am not going to give away. Which was, what was, let me see. Oh, so it's used for art. Why does it say it's for art? has like the horizontal layout though. I mean I can use this for creative journaling or basically whatever. Yeah. I probably am not gonna use this and then I'm gonna redate it and use it next year because I love these dividers and I don't want to waste them on anything dumb. I just love these dividers. So this will be you know an upcoming project. And I don't plan on adding more planners into my lineup for this year because I already have a lot. And the thing is, like, I was gonna—I I was thinking about using this for um, creative journaling. The thing is, I already journal in my catch-all. I already do that, so it's like it's a waste of time. So it's an extra planner that I'm just gonna put away. Maybe use it for lettering next, next year because it is already um, horizontal. So yeah. Anyway, so that is basically that and let me just get into some supplies with you guys okay so basically i just brought out a bunch of supplies and i'm not trying to overwhelm you across so the first thing i would recommend you getting is a happy planner punch and get it to the size of your planner like if you know you're just going to use the classic throughout just get the classic um planner 
but if you know you might be adding like the big planner into your lineup sometime or you want to try it out or anything um get the big happy planner punch just because i use the big planner and it's tedious just trying to get you know the punches at the same space or whatever and everything is just a really tedious task trying to you know um punch with something that doesn't have all the disc on there so that's what i would recommend and since i already had bought this one um because it was cheaper and you know i didn't think things through but um i wasn't gonna buy the bigger one so just a tip for you guys if you're starting out new get the planner a punch that fits with your planner like if you're getting the big get the big pla um paper planner punch Ugh, can't talk if you're using the classic planner get the classic planner punch and the classic or the big would work for the mini so if you have the if you're just going to use the mini as your thing for next year just get the classic planner the next thing i would recommend you getting is some colorful boxes so colorful boxes um they're really helpful first of all and they just add like another pizzazz so i wouldn't suggest you get like this exact sticker books but um i know mojo jojo from yeah jojo from mojo jojo plant has a bunch of sticker books that are just boxes and or well, that's like her thing she only has the boxes and i know caliber plan does too as well and caliber plan has sticker books like the floral sticker book that she has um you, you can't it has boxes and everything as well so you can just your whole spread is there so yeah that's another essential i would say i wouldn't say this is essential but it looks cute washi tape um i have a bunch of grid washi tape and i did find this on amazon for like 12 bucks so it was like i don't know there's a lot of them and i had these for a while i don't particularly like these but um yeah washi tape is a must for me and i have these pens these pens are really awesome um they are like the paper mate flare kind of but i think they're better i'm not sure why but they come in like a bunch of colors and they just you know kind of add some pizzazz to your spread so like you can match mix and match your colors like i did um, so like let me show you so like, I'm not here. Here, when I was journaling through, I did like some blue journaling and some orange, just to you know match it up with the planner, but also make it different from like the task and everything that I needed to do. So that's that. And I use it here. Yeah, I used these for some lettering over here. So there's that. And yeah. And then this is something I'll do the sign pens, brush pens. Um, these are from Bright Tech, and these are amazing. Like they have this little nib. Um, I hope you can you can't see. That. Yeah, they have this little nib type thing, which helps you a lot with lettering. And I really like this flexible nib rather than like a whole brush pen. That's just because um preference, I guess. And that was this Tombow. This is the hard tip Tombow brush pen um and it's, it's like it's like this this is what i usually use for my lettering but it takes forever to dry which is what i kind of hate about it because i'm left-handed and then it just smears so yeah the tombow is another pen and the sign pens if you're like into lettering or anything i would like recommend those or you can just get some alcohol markers they have really good brush tip but i personally use alcohol markers for um drawing and stuff i wouldn't suggest you draw like right onto the happy planner paper or like any kind of paper like that because it would be bleed through um if you are into drawing or whatever i suggest you do i have anything here yeah i recommend yeah here we go dry on like um marker paper or something and basically go from there and you can't even see that so i use marker paper here this is like this is not yeah this is marker paper this is oh, marker paper. and basically you can go on from there and what else do i have i have a pencil of course a pencil you probably have a pencil i have some of these right tick pens and um i did a review on these and these are amazing because they dry fast if you are left-handed like me they are amazing um 
fineliners, the furious fineliners, eraser, and then I have this pocket tripod, tripod. And basically, if you are into like filming reels, um, just like quick lettering reels or just something close up and everything like painting or whatever, um, this is amazing. Like it just sits on your desk and you don't even know it's there. So that's that. Um, if you're into memory planning, get like a punch. It makes your life way easier than to cut out every single photo because I did that. Where did I do that? So hold on, let me show you. I just did that recently and it was the most annoying thing ever. But no, it's not in here. So my memory planner is a classic because I thought I was going to switch into a classic, which I didn't do. So this is the punch. Like, I use these. Um, I use this punch for these and then I lost it. Well, I didn't lose it specifically. My kids lost it. So September, I was cutting out these photos like this. Like, it was a mission. And, I mean, it does look cute and everything. But it's a really tedious task. And they have like a bunch of punches and everything. You know, you can you can look around. There's heart punches. And this is a 1.5 one. I suggest getting a 1.5 one. Because it'll fit better in the monthly boxes. But I think for this one you can get like a 2 inch. So there's that. And yeah, basically that is it for now. In my next video, I will be going through um, uh, my social media planner. Well, I kind of already talked about that, but um, I'm going to be setting that up a little bit more with you guys. Just talking to you more in depth with it. And maybe just like planning out a spread to see how you can um, use that as well. And I'm going to be getting into my business planner as well. So those two planners will be covered in the next video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to like stay tuned and get more ideas for next year planning, I would um, suggest you subscribe and hit that like button just so you know YouTube knows that my content is actually something. And yeah, um, happy planning. Bye.